Hi, it's Jackie Othen here with the Othen Group, and today's Real Estate Real Talk, again, is about mechanics, thermostats, the furnace, the things that make your home warm. The one thing I want to remind you of at this time of year, if you're thinking about selling or if you're going to market very soon, is to make sure that your furnace is running well, that it's been cleaned, that it's been maintained, and that it's working to keep your home comfortable. I know in my home, 21 is a perfect temperature, but I know in some other homes you need 23 or 24 to keep the home comfortable. Those are homes probably with not enough insulation or with really tall ceilings where hot air rises. I'm not an HVAC expert, but I can tell you the most important thing when I'm walking into a home is to ensure the temperature is nice and warm when coming out from under the cold. Waiting on the porch, turning that lock to walk into the home, the best feeling for a realtor to walk into your home when you're selling it is to make sure that it's warm. I'm gonna give you a couple of tips today to make sure that your temperature is just so. Number one, don't be afraid to call in a technician for HVAC. It's a great, great, great investment to ensure that the rooms in your home are actually a great temperature. The other thing is, if you've got outside doors, whether it's going out to your side yard, your backyard, or your front door, we often see homes leaking a lot of the hot air out and the cold air in. So draft stops or weather stripping is really important to make sure that you've got. And also, make sure that your vents are open in the upstairs and the downstairs all throughout the house so that there is warmth throughout. Second tip, if you've got an unusually cold basement, for whatever reason that is, make sure that you raise the temperature throughout the house so that the lower level is also at a good recommended temperature for showing because there's nothing worse from going from a nice warm main floor to a freezing and balmy basement, especially if it's got a basement apartment. Worst thing, because you've got to consider that one day your tenant's going to be down there in the winter and they're going to be really cold or they're going to have to put a lot of money to keep the place warm or they're going to have to use an electric baseboard heater or a plug-in heat register. So remember, if the basement's cold, you wanna get the upper two floors warmer than usual so that it's comfortable for showings. Change your furnace filters. So if you want your house to have nice clean air, change your filters. You don't wanna have a ton of dust in your house while you're selling your home and you certainly don't want an inspector to go to your furnace and find a clogged filter. We see all sorts of problems when filters are not changed frequently and that translates into problems or expensive repairs for the furnace. So make sure your filters are clean if you're thinking about selling your home. Window coverings, if you're selling your home, are not only the jewelry for the presentation of the home and really enhance what you already have, they make for a beautiful complement to beautiful staging. Having drapery as well that can come and open and close is also a great way to deal with windows that are letting too much cold air in. So if you haven't thought about drapery, you probably want to do it. Just bare blinds won't keep enough of the cold temps out and make for the enjoyment while people are touring your home. And my last tip to you is if you've got a gas fireplace, it's beautiful to have that lit before showing. So if you're stepping in and out to ensure that showings happen, it's a nice little thing to turn the switch and turn, turn the gas fireplace off. Not only does it provide warmth in the house, it gives me the feeling that I want to lay on a couch or cozy up on your couch and this is my home. It also has a really nice way of creating ambiance for somebody looking through your home. So get those fireplaces lit and even electric fireplaces. If you've got one in the basement, you want to turn it on because they do, they absolutely set the mood when selling. So best of luck. Get out there, make sure your home is warm and cozy and toasty so buyers will bite.